Hi, this is Teresa Momber, and here's a look at the card I will show you how to create in today's video. Stamp the holly branch image from the dashing stamp set from Gina K Designs onto white cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Since this image is a tad on the large side, I'm going to go ahead and rub the back of the cardstock to make sure I get a clean impression. To begin coloring, start with Copic marker G28, and you'll use this marker where you want your deepest shading to be, mainly along the center lines and edges of the leaves. To make the video go a little faster, I'm only showing you that I've stamped it once and coloring one image, but since you'll need two of these to create the final card project, you may want to go ahead and stamp the image a second time and color both images at the same time. Next, we'll switch to Copic marker G07, working it in over the previous color and then filling in a bit beyond that. Keep using this color to blend out from the previous color, but also go ahead and outline each of the leaves in any areas that haven't already gotten outlined. Now we'll switch to Copic Marker G03 and once again blend out from the previous color, filling in a little more of the open space on the leaves. And if you have room, try to leave a little open area in each of the leaves where you'll have your lightest highlights. Next, we'll use Copic Marker G000 to fill in the rest of the open areas on each leaf. Now, if you're happy with the coloring as it is, you can leave it that way. But I decided I wanted my shading to be a little deeper, so I'm going back over it with the original color, G28, only where I want the deepest shading.
For the berries, start with Copic marker R89 and just add a little tiny bit on the underside of each berry. Now switch to Copic marker R27 to fill in the rest of the areas, leaving just a tiny bit of each berry uncolored. Then use Copic marker R00 to fill in the highlights. For the stem, use Copic marker E57. After coloring, use scissors to cut out the image. For the background, start with a piece of cardstock trimmed to four and a half by three and a quarter inches and begin sponging around the edges working your way in using Gina K Ocean Mist ink. Try to keep your color a little darker along the edges and lighter toward the center of the cardstock. Now use Gina K Dark Sage ink to sponge along the edges once again, layering over the previous color. Now this is a really dark color, so you'll notice I'm tapping off a lot of the ink onto scratch paper to try to keep the sponge as dry as possible and really get a soft, subtle effect. Now I'm going to layer a little more ink over the sage. This time I'm using my black onyx sponge dauber, but I'm not adding any ink to it. This is just some residual ink left on the dauber from a previous project. You'll have to be really careful not to get too much ink on your sponge dauber for this step. Now we're going to stamp some of the snowflakes from the dashing stamp set. I'm starting with one of the middle sized snowflakes and I'm using dark sage ink once again, but I'm stamping off onto scratch paper two times before stamping onto my cardstock to make sure that that image is very light. And I'll repeat that several times on the cardstock. Then I'll switch to another snowflake and repeat the same process, stamping in several locations. The Merry Christmas sentiment is also from the Dashing stamp set, and I'm stamping that using Gina K Black Onyx ink. To assemble the card, adhere your background layer to a piece of Black Onyx cardstock that's trimmed slightly larger, and then adhere both layers to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch moonlit fog card base. You can see here that I have created a second stamped holly branch image and now I'm just moving them around trying to determine exactly where I'd like them to be. 
and then adhering them to my card using craft glue. And that completes today's video. Thanks for watching.